Assalamu alaikum dear students, how are you? Hope you are fine, enjoying your study at your home. So students, in last lecture, we have gone through the two types of speech, that is direct speech, quoted speech, and indirect speech, quoted speech. I hope you have a better understanding of the topic by now. So now today, I'm going to assign you a task related to direct and indirect speech. For this purpose, or to solve the worksheets, you just have to go through the last lecture once and you have to look at the tenses chart and all the words that are going to convert themselves into other words so that you might not face any difficulty in solving any of the sentence. Okay, students, this is your task one and the learning objective for this is to understand the direct and indirect speech and to convert the direct speech into indirect speech. So students, I have again put a tenses chart in this topic so that you may have a better understanding with the help of examples. Here are the tenses and the example of the tenses and how to change them into reported speech is also done here. Present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, will, would, can, could, should, might. Look at the first example. The present simple, as you know, is changed into past simple. I like ice cream. He said that he liked ice cream. So the present simple is changed into past simple. Present continuous, I am living in Paris. He said that he was living in Paris. Okay. So likewise, you have to have a glance on all the examples so that you might have better understanding of the tenses. Next is your exercise. Change the following sentences into indirect speech. I'll do first one for you so that you might not get confused. The number one is John said, I'm very busy now. So as you see that it is in present simple. So we are going to change it into past simple. John said that he was very busy then, okay? Likewise, he said the horse has been fed. He said that the horse had been fed. Likewise, you have to do all the other 13 sentences and if you feel any difficulty in solving them, you may go back to the tenses chart and you can take help from here. Next is imperative sentences. Change the following sentences into reported speech. As I told you that imperative sentences in direct speech are those sentences in which you have an order, a command, or a request. And in place of the inverted commas, you are not going to write that. You are going to write, he requested, he requested me to please, to help him. He requested me to help him, okay? So in the other four sentences, you are going to put ordered command or request as per needed. She said to him, you should work hard for exam. They said to him, don't tell a lie. He said, open the door. The teacher said to student, do not waste time. Next is exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences, I told you, are those, those sentences that hold a feeling. Change the following sentences into reported speech. He said, hurrah, I won a prize. So I told you in the last lecture that in place of hurrah and inverted commas and said, you are going to put exclaim with joy, exclaim with sorrow, exclaim with happiness, exclaim with grief. So in the first sentence, as you see that a lot of excitement is shown. So you will write, he said, he exclaimed with joy that he won a prize. The tense remain the same. You will only add exclaim with joy, exclaim with sorrow. Okay. So student, this is your task for your this is your task for your direct and indirect speech. And students, so now you are going to solve all these exercises very carefully and attentively. And if you still have any problem regarding this topic, then you can ask me freely. Thank you all. Take good care of you. Stay at home. Stay safe. Allah Hafiz.